is born in Kratz, moving to second place overall right now, taking the ice, the U.S. gold medalist in seventh position, heading into the original dance, Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow. Renee Roca and Gortzis Sir have already skated, of course, and they are in eighth place overall right now. We're not in the 95 World Championship. This is their first return to the world since 94 when they placed 12. They're now in a far better position. Seventh place at this point of the competition. Possibly they would have been higher had they competed in last year's championship. One of their hallmarks in this dance is that they have very nice speed and they seem to be very secure on these rather deep, low edges. much more the character of this dance. They haven't been known for passionate themes in the past. This is working very well. Well, all week long, the crowds have responded well to Punselin and Swallow up here in Canada, and I think once again here in the original dance, they do so. Seventh coming into this portion of the competition. Remember, it counts for 30% of the total score. The three-time gold medalists from the U.S. Nationals, Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow. It's been really interesting to see how each of these dance couples interprets this very powerful, strong music. The theme of the Paso Doble is really a tough one, and we see an awful lot of different styles in how that so-called cape is interpreted. I mean, these are very sort of romantic kind of edging and appearance as they move around this ice. It's really, it's really quite extraordinary to see the way these in, in dances interpret Our this kind of music. Well, in seventh place after the compulsory dances, we'll see what happens here with the marks. Five, four, five, three, five, three, five, three, the composition, 5.3 to 5.4, the range. Marks for presentation, five, four, and for presentation, five, four, five, five point three. 5.4, they're in fourth spot of those that have skated at this point. We'll be back in a moment.